Grim Reaper, dude. Oh. How's it hanging, Death? In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you a game guide on subsistence, your date with death, because it's going to happen. You are going to die in this game. The question is, what happens to you? What are the repercussions? And what do you do about death? Now, this first death, I am going to jump. Well, probably both of them. I'm going to jump off the top of my rock right outside my house and let myself die. Now, I have a bed spawn. So once you've built your your first place and you finally decide to go ahead and create a bed, you have to buy spawns. Depending on what level you're playing on in the game, it gives you uh, how much you have to actually spend of your power to buy a spawn. My current bed has one spawn on it. So I will be able to respawn, and then the next time I die, which for your enjoyment, I will do at least twice in this video. I will not have a bed spawn and have to run back to my body. Please note, I have a hundred fiber, 100 bullets, 200 feathers in one stack, 100 feathers in a second stack, a single grenade, three splints, and one basic antidote. I want to show these off because when you die, you lose 33.33% of all your stackable items. You will lose ammo, even out of your weapons. And you have the chance of losing at least one piece of armor on each death. But I, I do, we're going to do a couple tests here. So, the first thing to do is, well, jump off the rock and kill myself. This should be fun. Oh, and I bounced a little bit to the right. And I'm dead. Now, if you're on easy, all right, you can reload your last save. And you don't have to worry about the cost of death. But I'm playing on the normal mode. So I need to click the mouse and I respawn. I respawn on top of my bed, which currently has no spawns available. I could buy a spawn, but I really don't need it. Now, when I spawn back in, I gained a bandage. That's a free bandage. That bandage will die on my next death. We'll actually store that bandage up there. Uh, I'm just going to toss these two items. They're also just freebies. A uh, light stick and an axe. I don't need them. Now, if I was on a uh, beginning character, all right, I hadn't made a base yet, I would, uh, and I started the game with a nine millimeter, I would still start with that nine mil. Now, if I had placed down my BCU after, oh God, this is not convenient. Pissing a bear off, hold on. He's not actively chasing me, so I'm gonna make a run for it. <laughs> Great. I'm going to die once on camera to show you guys how it works and die second time just because I'm an idiot. Let's get back in the house so I'm safe. <laughs> Stupid bear. All right. So let's look at the damage. I've got 67 of my fibers. I've got 67 of my bullets. I had 300 feathers and I've lost 33.33% of the feathers, leaving me 200 and one feather. Now it should be 200, but it's 200.01. That 01 gives me that one feather. Now I had a single grenade. I didn't lose that grenade, I got it back. Because you can't lose 33.33% of one. Because that'd be, you lose everything. You don't lose everything. I lost one splint. Now, my armor, I lost my helmet. Now, you'll see I gained a pair of pants, so every time you die, you come back with at least a pair of light pants. If you still have pants, by all means, tear them up and get some extra cloth. Now, I'm not going to replace all these things. I'm just going to go back out and die again. But I wanted to show you what the cost of death was. Now, had I been on a starter world, 
and I start with a pistol, that's a free pistol. If that pistol has not been upgraded after you place the VCU and you die, you lose that pistol. That pistol does not come back with you. It is the only weapon that you can lose on death. All other weapons stay no matter what. It's only that starter pistol. Anything that's issued to you for free. So a free canteen can disappear. A free bandage can disappear. There was a bug that if you stacked free bandages with normal bandages, you could lose all those normal bandages. And you'll notice I lost all my bandages. I had a stack of bandages. Let me double check something, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I had a stack of bandages and I've lost it. So that bug might be around still. And I can actually test that. Hold on a second. Bandage. I might as well test it. That way, if I find out it's still there, I can let Cole Games know. So I'll create a second bandage. The one bandage was free. That is a bandage I crafted. I shouldn't be able to lose that individual bandage. I'm going to go ahead and split this in half. I'm still going to count this two no matter what. And I'm going to lose one. It'll probably be the free one. I guess that's not a really good test. But I did have a huge stack of bandages. Hold on. Let me get some uh, cloth real quick. Don't need that much. You mean Christmas. So I'll get up to, to 10 bandages. And we'll keep them all stacked together. All right. You'll see that I've got 10 bandages now. Because I want to do this. I want to do this test right. Now you'll notice I lost all my food buff on both my stamina and my health. And I lost a few of the buffs that I had. So I was up to like 103. And I, or 106, I think it was, and I lost some. So we'll look at that as well. Now, I'm gonna... All right, bear. Hold on. Yes, that's that's a bear. You can point at the bear. Now it's, oh, it's a level three bear, so it's gonna be a shot at least. Oh, I almost shot my chicken. You almost made me shoot my chicken, bear. All right, back to where you're supposed to be. All right, so we're going to do a second death now. Note that my health is 98 and my stamina or my stamina is 98 and my health is 102. Here's all the items that I have and I'm going to lose 33.33% of those items yet again and probably another piece of armor, but I'm still not going to lose my basic antidote or the grenade because it's only stacked as one. Here we go. Death number 2. Oh, face first. Face plant. That was awesome. Come on. There we go. All right. Now, because I didn't have a spawn, I was spawned randomly within the world someplace. And I have to get back. I know where I'm at right now just because I can see the vegetation. I'm almost right on top rogue. There's a rogue hunter camp over here. Oh, God. Okay. Now... If you can't see your death skull, because the death skull ah, walked right into the rose. <laughs> okay, we're running and we're running. This is part of the adventure. Not planned, but definitely part of the adventure. <laughs> Use the, the rocks to give you some cover to maybe uh, cover you from getting fired because you have nothing. Oh my lord, and I got all these animals. Now what I was going to show you, <laughs> if the rogues would let me, are you following? Oh, he's still following. Yes, it's time to run. I'm just going to keep running. I'll, I'll now, this is part of the thing. How do I get back to my body safely? You'll see I'm trying to gauge where the animals are at, where that bear is. And I'm trying to see where the bear is versus where I can run without getting actually into the water. It will slow me down. And he might, he might alert to me. It doesn't mean he's going to aggro to me, but the rogue hunter is still following me. This is not good. So that's what you want to do. You want to look out ahead of yourself. Kind of like when you're learning how to drive a car and they tell you don't look on the, at the road in front of you. Look you know, out further in front of your vehicle and just not right where your vehicle is at. That's the same thing that we're trying to do here. Oh my God, another rogue hunter camp. This is just not funny anymore. <laughs> and I'm almost out of stamina. You know what? We're going to die twice this, this episode uh, in this run. I'm almost 100% sure. I am down to 17 stamina, 15. And I've got two sets of rogue hunters after me. Oh, come on. I need some of these bears and wolves to help me out. 
or I'm gonna die again. <laughs> this is just not fun. So I'm gonna show you what I do. So what I what I do is if you can't see where your death skull is, get up to a tree and kind of go around it until you can uh, you can see your death skull. I'm just gonna die. It's just it's just gonna happen. This is what subsistence is. Okay, nobody said it was. Fa Are you still firing? Go bear! Kill those mothers. That's right. We're gonna watch this. Go bear. Go. Go bear. Go. Go. Oh, there we go. And he levels up because I can see it. There's another hunter. Kill that hunter. Don't growl. Kill it. There we go. Oh, that hunter's so stupid. Yes. Now we have a level four bear on the map. Are you gonna kill something else? Are you done now? Are you happy? All right, you play with your food. All right, we're gonna try this again. Now I've got two death skulls. Important to note, just because you die again, you don't lose your death skull. So to try to find my death skull, I can move up to a, to a tree and just keep circling it until the skull shows up. Especially like in the, if you're in the snow biome, this really does help. So there's my two death skulls. This time I died right outside my house. That other one, eh, I'm not gonna go back for it unless I absolutely have to. So you have on normal 10 minutes to get back to your bag before your bag des uh, despawns. If your da bag despawns, you lose everything that's in it. All right, so here's all my stuff. Ah, I lost all my bandages. Cole Games, you need to, I don't know if he fixed that one yet or if it's something that was going to be fixed in the future. But once again, I lost 33.33% of everything, and I lost uh, my chest armor now. So all that's working correctly. So that free bandage, if you get a free bandage, just throw that bandage away. It is not worth keeping that bandage in your inventory. Well, at least not for me. I've got the supplies to replace it. Once you can make your own bandages, get rid of the free one, because the free one will eat up the rest of your bandages until Cold Games has a chance to fix that, that bug. He did acknowledge that was a bug and he needed to get it fixed. Obviously, he just hasn't had a chance to do it yet. Now, you'll notice, I'm gonna go ahead and eat real quick. Eat, I'll just eat five, I don't care. I'm just chowing down, getting everything back up, and I'll use a health kit too. All right, so I've gone down to 87 stamina and 91 health. So every time I'm dying, I'm losing. And I believe the lowest you can go is seven. You know what? Let's just try it again. It doesn't hurt me to die again. This is a test world. And I relish the idea of throwing myself off my own home for your, oh great. You're gonna, so you wanna come kill me when I'm already dead. Oh, face first. That's awesome, I planted that one. Come on, give it, there we go. Hey, I'm close enough I can, Oh God, I'm right on top of the Rogue Hunter camp. Hey, wait a second, their bags might still be there. Oh, score, extra gear. All right, so I've got 82 stamina and 86 health. There's a level four bear over here, so I need to be careful. I think it's been too long. I think their bags already despawned. Oh, no, no, it'd be over here. We'll find out, we'll see. Well, I get lucky and find their bag. I know my bag's still here, because I have the, have the skull. Of course, there's nothing to take. Oh, their bags are still here, but there's also a nasty. Well, I want those. Come here, come here. So this is how you get your, uh, this is how you get a bag, okay? You aggro the thing. You get the thing to walk towards you. Come on, Barry. That's a good Mr. Level Four bear. Yeah, you can climb that rock, that's okay. Come here. He's still, still keep up there, come on. So I'm gonna pull him around in a large area and then I'm gonna rush toward the bags I wanna grab. Now I was doing a little tight, he's about to drop on me I think. Oh, yep, he, he, I'm within seven, uh, didn't break my leg fortunately. I have seven health and I can outrun this bear. Okay, just because the bear is, is following me, I can outrun the bear as long as my stamina holds up. Now, my food and water stats aren't very good, and thank God I'm not bleeding right now. Man, this has been educational. You guys got to see some shenanigans. I thought I was just gonna jump off a couple times and give you guys a lowdown of what death is about. There we go. 
Now you'll see that my beacon has come on. If you've placed a BCU, a minute after you die, the beacon comes on to show you how to get back home again. So if you're completely lost and the uh, the gear that's in there is, or you have enough time, I would wait until that beacon, beacon comes on and then, because the last thing you want to do is be going in the wrong direction. Oh great, another bear and a wolf. We're gonna, I'm gonna keep you guys here. You guys get the, you guys can take bets. Am I going to make it? Will I make it to my house before I run out of stamina? Oh. And I have a funny feeling I am not going to make it. I've got a wolf on me as well. If it was just the bear, I think the bear would have dropped off in time, but I have a funny feeling that this wolf is not going to let go. He's gonna keep fucking. Now, I get lucky he might start walking. Two, one, jump, jump for my love. No, he's gonna get me. <laughs> well, this was an episode about death. See, I was able to outrun the bear, but I wasn't able to run out outrun that wolf. He got me. All right, guys and gals. This has been your date with death. I hope you have enjoyed yourself. I've been Critical. This has been a game guide in subsistence. If you've liked what you've seen, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.